I'm going to show you how to do kumihimo, which is a Japanese style braid. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our um, sort of loom, and we're going to make this into an octagon. And the best way to do that is to snip off the corners. So I don't need a huge amount, but just a little snip here, snip. Snip, snip. If it's too hard for you to do, you can ask a friend to help you or I can come by and help you. So now we have an octagon. We know an octagon is an eight-sided eight shape. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to poke a hole right in the middle with our pencil. So. What I am going to do first is just place it down on the table and sort of twist my pencil back and forth until it punctures. This is corrugated cardboard, so it's got some air in between, so it punctures the first layer. And then once it punctures the first layer, I'm going to pick it up and just sort of drive it through. Don't put your hand right over it because then you'll poke right through your hand. It's always, always. So I'm just grabbing onto the edge and driving my pencil through until it's a circle. And I am just going to sort of twist it around so that it's a wider circle. Next, so I've got a circle. Notice it's not exactly in the center. I'm not perfect, but mostly in the center. We're pretty good. We're going to snip a little section, like a little notch, in each one of the eight sides. So I'm just going to go a little bite little bite. It does not need to be a big cut. In fact, I would say a centimeter at most. So if I'm looking at it and you want to know, a unit of measurement is like no wider than the width of your finger or the width of your fingernail. And just a little, little snip here. I've snipped all the way around. I have eight sides, so eight snips. Then I need seven, seven pieces of yarn. There are eight notches, but we will be only using seven at a time. Two golds, three purples, and two blacks equals seven. Take them all into your hand. Actually, I'll wrap around two fingers so that I have a bigger loop. And then I'll just slide all of those little yarnies, little yarn ends through that loop and give it a nice little tug so that I have a nice tight knot. Try to make that knot as small as possible because we have to fit it through that tiny little hole we just created. Okay, so this is a tricky bit. We have to take this knot and put it through this hole. So I'm going to try to shove it through without bending my cardboard. It's just takes a little bit of work, just wiggle it through, push, wiggle, wiggle, and then when enough of it's through, boom, you've got your knot through there. All right, at this point, put all of the yarns inside the teeth. It really doesn't matter. I'm not, have no particular pattern in mind, so I'm just randomly putting them in. And I've got all of them in, and obviously I have a blank one because there's eight slits and seven pieces of yarn. Here's the pattern. Starting from your blank, the one with nothing in it, you're going to go to the right, you're going to count one, two, and then on the third one, you're going to take that third one, lift it out of the notch, and bring it to the empty notch. All right, so, and then you can turn it. So let's do that one more time. Here's the blank notch. Then you're going to count to the right, one, two, and on the third one, take the third one and bring it to the empty notch. 
empty notch to the right one two three take the yarn bring it to the empty notch now as you're doing this your yarns kind of get a little bit all uh, tangled up so occasionally take your fingers through it and come in through so here's the notch one two three bring it to the empty here's the notch going to the right one two three bring it to the empty one notch one two three bring it to the empty one notch one two three bring it to the empty one all right so this is what it's beginning to look like you can see that it is creating a nice little braid here when you finish and you get a long enough braid you can remove all of the yarns from the loom and just tighten a knot and these create fun little bracelets it could be a rope for something you can think of many uses to do with these little braids